Kevin, as far as we know from the headlines that have crossed so far, anything that we weren't expecting out of this meeting yet? Well, President Trump, according to the New York Times, will be traveling to the World Economic Forum in Davos. This comes as his administration largely skipped out on last year's uh, event for that matter. Now, you'll remember that President Trump on the campaign trail was very much against these types of global economic gatherings. Uh, this is a reversal of sorts from his previous position to avoid them. It also is notable, given that you have someone like Steve Bannon's clout within Republican circles greatly diminished. Steve Bannon, of course, this uh, someone who had really advocated against uh, attending these types of global gatherings. So clearly a shift right now that we're watching and following here at the White House. About the meeting that's actually taking place, Kevin, anything that we weren't looking for? Well, Democrats that are coming out of this meeting uh, suggesting that they are still very much in favor of extending the Obama administration's DACA uh, proposals and, and policies for the more than 800,000 young Americans or dreamers, as they're sometimes called, uh, in order to, to lump that with the January 19th deadline that lawmakers up on Capitol Hill must uh, pass a partial government funding bill to avert that government shutdown. The political battle lines are very drawn, very clear here in Democrats versus Republicans. What's interesting, though, is that the president will need some type of Democratic support in order to avert a government shutdown, particularly when that CR or the continuing resolution gets to the Senate, because they need to clear what's known as a cloture threshold of 60 votes. That's why the Democrats are here. That's why this administration is reaching out to Democrats to try to get to some type of deal. The president had said last month he wants to work with Democrats on this, but it's unclear right now if we're going to learn anything new about whether or not they got a deal. Kevin, really quickly, Davos just got a whole lot of interesting because we're hearing from the New York Times that President Trump will attend. You wonder how his America First agenda is going to go on and go down in Davos. <laughs> you said it best. Look, I think the bottom line is that with Steve Bannon out, you're seeing uh, a shift in this terms in terms of uh, how this administration is doing global outreach. It will be very interesting to watch the welcome that President Trump receives once he's overseas.